Let's press on execute. I want to show you guys how it'll look. As you can see, this is the alert we got. So if someone visits this page, he'll get this. He'll be like, oh, uh, let me update it. So install the missing plugins. He'll get redirected to the file that we have linked. Yo, what is up guys? I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can launch uh, and install beef on a web server and actually hook P a real uh, targets up. Like you can, uh, this will help you out in a real red team engagement. All right. So this video, of course, is for educational purposes only and make sure you're doing this legally i know uh, i know guys i haven't uploaded in a while but you know uh so before we start make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on twitter at exploited system to stay updated on what's going on and of course you can join my discord server so let's start so the first thing that um, I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using DigitalOcean as my server. All right. I'm going to be buying a server from DigitalOcean and using it for beef. You can use Amazon, AWS, uh, Linode uh, or any other servers. Uh, you can use your own machine. But the purpose of this video is to actually make it accessible online. So beef over uh, WAN, let's say, so so you can use it outside your network. All right. So I'll be linking uh, down below um, a Digital Ocean link to get hundred dollars free. So let's start. So once you sign up and you have everything ready, you press on your project and you create a project. I'm gonna be starting from scratch for you guys, so everything can be clear for you guys. So this project will uh, I'm gonna name this project as Beef. XSS, let's say, doesn't matter. Fun. And the purpose, just trying out DigitalOcean, doesn't matter. The purpose doesn't really matter, skip for now. All right, so once we have it ready, we have our project ready. So in today's video, I'm gonna be using Ubuntu. So please, uh, I'm gonna be, of course, uh, showing you guys an installation guide, like every video. Uh, so uh, we're gonna be installing beef on Ubuntu, all right? Um, on Amazon the AWS for example they have a ready Kali instance machine you can just uh, download beef easily on there but in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up on Ubuntu and um, yeah and how to get a basic overview on how it works you know all right so the first thing that we're gonna do is press get started with a droplet all right And we're gonna select Ubuntu. The version for me, uh, I'm gonna be using 20.04 LTS. And in here, you press on regular Intel. So in here, I recommend uh, two gigabytes of RAM, all right, for beef to work per uh, to work perfectly. And the server, you choose the one that is closest to you. And in here, the password is gonna be let's say you set you set a password, all right? You can use SSH keys or a password. Of course, SSH, SSH keys are more secure because uh, people can't easily brute force them, but passwords are easily brute forceable. So let's say, all right, I'm gonna name it. All right, I have my password set, and we'll just create the droplet. All right. And we're waiting until um, it finishes. All right. Just, let's just wait until it loads. Alright, so as you can see guys, the droplet has finished initializing, so we're gonna copy our IP address, a public IP address for the droplet, and I'm gonna SSH into it. You can use PuTTY, 
You can use your Cal Linux terminal. You can use whatever you want. Honestly, so I'm gonna be using this program that I love. And uh, make sure to log in as root. You know it's better, so you cannot face any issues. But of course, uh, don't. Uh, it's not a good practice, all right, for obvious reasons. All right. So now let me specify the password that I have set. Yes, I'm gonna save it. Cancel. I don't want to add a master password. All right. So the first thing that we're gonna do, uh, I have all the installation for you guys in here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is sudo app update and sudo and let's say app upgrade. Doesn't matter honestly. Uh, here, so we can update the resources and so we can upgrade the machine. It's always better to do that on. Uh, on the VPS servers. As you can see guys, the, uh, the upgrade has finished for our machine, just want to point something out. Uh, when you guys reach to this point, make sure to type in yes and press enter so it can complete the upgrade. So now let's clear the terminal. So now I'm going to be linking this download uh, guide that I made, like always, um, down in the description, alright? Git is already installed on Ubuntu, but let's do it in case. Yep, and let's let's download curl. Curl. All right, cool. Now we need to follow this guide, the beef installation guide. I'm just gonna copy these commands, add the key in here, and I'm just gonna use curl. Install packages. Paste. All right. By the way, guys, I have installed. Uh, this guide is really neat, and you shouldn't face any issues if you have if you will follow it. Uh, let me copy this. Uh, let me paste it. All right. Now we're installing Ruby. It's really simple, guys. Very simple. So basically, you need to go over all of these commands. Alright, let's just wait for it until it solves. Alright, so now let's paste the next command. Yes. Just wait for it until it finishes. Alright, so now we're gonna git clone beef. So we're gonna basically install beef right now. Alright, let's just wait for it. It installs. Alright, so now we're gonna cd into beef. Oh, never mind. Alright, cool. We're in the directory right now. So now what we're gonna do is sudo install 
so we can install the actual program then yes and let's just wait for for it until it finishes Alright, as you can see guys, we have successfully installed Beef. As you can see, it might take some time. It might take up to 10 minutes installing this, alright? <clears throat> so now, what we're gonna do is edit our default credentials, because Beef is not gonna run with the default credentials. So uh, what I'm gonna do is use a famous text editor called Nano, and I'm gonna edit the config.yaml. So basically, this is the file that has the default credentials. And if I scroll down, the user is beef, and the password is beef. If you change the password, it'll work. You don't need to change the username too, but of course, um, for, secure, uh, for security measures, you need to change the username. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna name the password Hussein. I'm gonna save it. And so after we have done that, we can run beef right now, all right? But I wanna install uh, the Apache server so we can host our website on it our fake website let's say yes let me install it it's gonna be quick all right all right we have successfully installed our Apache server so now let's run our Apache server As you can see, it is up. Now it's time to actually launch Beef. Alright. Let me show you guys. Uh, no worries, all the installation uh, commands are gonna be in the descript uh, description, alright? Alright, as you can see, it started. So this is uh, actually our uh, IP of our, of our machine so this is where we're gonna access it so if you copy it and if you go in here it's gonna work all right so basically um, usually or if you're using an Amazon AWS the this port is not gonna be working so what you need to do is actually go to your cloud firewall so and add add the port 3000 as an exception for example and it'll work uh, but in DigitalOcean uh, you don't have a firewall configured you can add a firewall if you needed to so uh, that's why I like uh, digital uh, DigitalOcean very simple to use right, so now let's log in into our panel all right uh, let's not save it all right so as you can see we have our beef running so now let me do a demonstration for you guys so I'm gonna start a new SSH server, or keep this running, all right? Let's start a new SSH server with the same IP. Uh, let me let me go in here, copy it. I'm gonna SSH again into my server, into a different session. All right. All right, so now let, let me clear this. All right, so now if we actually go to this IP address, we have a web server actually. As you can see, this is the Apache default page. So basically, this is the default page. So if you want to host a website, you need to host it on the Apache server or any other um, servers. But I'm going to be using Apache for today's video. I showed you how to install it. So now let's edit our... Uh, let's edit this page so basically this is the default page all right if you're in real scenario you need to change it all right um, HTML index oh, sorry. all right so basically this is the index we have I'm gonna be editing it and adding the beef hook because if you go back in here 
this is uh where is it this is the beef hook that we're gonna be hooking the people who visit our website in all right so if people visit this website so of course in a real scenario you need to make it real you need to assign a domain name to it you know and make it real all right so now we're gonna add it under the header tag all right you can add it at the bottom if you wanted to it's fine though i'm gonna add it under the header tag all right guys so now i'm gonna be adding our hook in here so you, like i said you can add it uh, at the bottom of the page or under the header i'm gonna add it under the header all right all right so script source equals all right now i'm gonna paste our hook link that be that beef generated for us and i'm gonna close it in here all right and now if we save it and if any victim goes to this page you're gonna get hooked and uh, now it should appear on the online browsers let me refresh again as you can see guys i am hooked right now so basically the, uh, this is my ip address um, and you'll get a lot of details about my operating system and basically now you can control my browser so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh, install a fake update for someone let's say and yeah so now we have full control over the targets browser so the only way we can defeat this is if we disable javascript on our browser you can use a no script extension or any other extension that blocks javascript so now if somebody goes in here we're gonna hook it we can execute commands so let's say alert command actually oh now we're gonna create an alert dialog so let's say uh, subscribe and follow me on Twitter at exploited system. See my spell Twitter. It doesn't matter. All right. So now, if you press execute, and if we go back in here, as you can see, we have hooked the browser. All right. So now we could do a lot of stuff, guys. So basically, beef offers a lot of great things so i want to show you guys the fake update yeah basically the fake notification bar so let's say uh, of course uh, you uh, we can know the browser that the user is using in here so uh, from once we hook them you you'll actually know what browser is using so in this case we're using chrome and basically in here you put the url you want the user to download the fake file from all right so basically what we can do in here let's say um https i want to show you guys something all right all right this is also a trick all right this is also a trick so basically if you upload um a file to discord you can have a direct download link people are using uh, like um is ransomware groups and other stuff are using this method sometimes of course make sure you use all the information learned from this video for legal purposes only uh all right so now let's say uh i'll put this url in here and let's say yeah let's say additional and let's say important update please update now or the let's say browser browser is not gonna work all right and let's press on execute i want to show you guys how it'll look as you can see this is the alert we got so if someone visits this page he'll get this he'll be like oh uh, let me update it so install the missing plugins he'll get redirected to the file that we have linked and he'll click on it and will get a shell on his system you see how strong this attack is guys all right and we have downloaded it of course this is a uh, process explorer by windows it doesn't matter all right it doesn't matter and yeah you can do a lot of stuff guys like i said this um this is how to use beef outside your network of course if you're using aws make sure to uh add the port on your 
on your firewall and yeah that was all about it guys uh, if you have any videos video ideas anything feel free to comment down below and the reason why I wanted to show you guys the whole inst installation process is because I want to show you guys that I don't get any errors if you follow my guide uh, and of course you can follow me on Twitter at exploited system and join my discord server if you wanted to it's fine though and yeah that was all about it guys make sure to like and subscribe and I'm out guys <laughs>